Hey there, it's Laura here from makingcardsisun.com and today I'm here with a brand new Saturday STEM Day carding video featuring the beautiful butterflies one steam set from the ton along with their cotton candy puff couture mix and their couture ink pads. Before we get started, I wanted to mention the Tons brand new challenge block and their current challenge is Celebrate, so be sure to check it out. I have a link to their challenge block and to all of the supplies I used in the video description below and in my blog post. So be sure to uh, go and visit the Tons challenge block for a fun challenge. So uh, as I mentioned, I'm using the beautiful butterfly stamp sets from the Ton. And I will be stamping a butterfly background with uh, the stamp set and with some beautiful ink pads. So I'm using the Rose Quartz ink first. This is my favorite color um, of my entire ink pad collection. And then I am using um, Soft Garnet ink from the Tom to stamp the smaller butterfly. So I chose to use some pink colors and I'm going to mix it with Vanilla Frosted Cupcake for a pop of yellow and then I'll also be adding some green and blue to this background. So um, I'm stamping the smallest, butter the smallest butterfly with vanilla frosted cupcake and then I am moving on to that medium butterfly again and I'm using the blue diamond ink for that which is a gorgeous soft blue color. And then finally I am using the soft garden ink pad from the ton so I'm using that to stamp the uh, smallest butterfly as well so I'm just stamping all of these sizes in different colors then it's time to fill up the gaps so I'm using some soft garnet over here then I'm using some vanilla frosted cupcake um, just to stamp a couple of extra butterflies here and there to really uh, create a full background and then finally I'm going back in with a super tiny solid butterfly and I'm using blue diamond ink for that. So now that my background is completely uh, finished, I'm going to die cut a rectangle using Catherine Cutaway's dies from Winnie and Walter. And I'm also going to die cut a circle uh, since I'll be creating a sequin shaker. So I'm just uh, adhering those dies with some uh, painter's tape and then I run it through my Big Shop machine. So I'll be creating a sequin shaker. So over here I have a piece of plastic from the Fusibles collection from Your Memory Keepers. And I created a nice crease and then I can cut that to the size of my circle. So of course I'm cutting it a little bit larger than the circle itself since the sequins need to have plenty of space to move around. Then I uh, plugged in my fuse tool for about 5 minutes or so and then I'm starting to fuse um, my sequin shaker pocket. So uh, I really like to use the fuse tool because it's just a really fast way to make sequin shakers. But of course you could also use um, just regular foam adhesive and some acetate sheets to create a sequin shaker. That would work as well and I have plenty of tutorials on that technique too so check out my YouTube channel or my blog for more information. I'm filling up my sequin shaker with the Tons um, Cotton Candy Puff Couture Mix and I couldn't really decide which mix to use as you can see. Um, I also had another mix over there but then I decided to go with this one. Next, I'm going to adhere my sequin shaker to the back of my butterfly paper. So I'm just adding some adhesive with my ATG from Scotch and then I am lining that up with my sequin shaker and then I have a really pretty beautiful, yeah, no, <laughs> I wanted to say really pretty butterfly sequin shaker with the beautiful butterfly stamp set from the Tom. And that was way harder to say than I expected. Um, so I'm going to uh, stamp the sentiment with their basic label stamp set. And I am lining that up with my Misty tool. And I'm uh, inking that up with the Noir ink from the Ton. And as I lifted it up, I my Misty tool I mean, I noticed that my sentiment wasn't really crisp. And because I didn't ink up my stamp properly, properly so I'm just going to re-ink that and then stamp it again and then I have a really pretty crisp label. 
So I cut that um, and I left a little white frame around the label. I couldn't show you that on camera because my hat was in the way all the time. So um, I just adhered that onto my sequin shaker and then I'm adding some foam adhesive since it's time to finish up, up this card. So I'm just adding some foam squares and then I'm peeling off the backer sheets and then I can easily adhere that to a Hero Arts note card. So that finishes up my card for this week's Saturday Stand Day carding video. Uh, thank you so much for watching and again be sure to visit my blog for more information and check out the video description for linked supplies. See you soon, bye bye!